Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this part four of our research class. My name is Michael Ogenenyoreme, and I'm your anchor or your facilitator. Uh, recall that in our last class, which is the part three, we talked about the use of ellipses and seek. Ellipses refers to three dots or four dots in a sentence. So when you come across a, a paragraph and you see three dots, the three dots is called ellipses and it means one word or a phrase has been omitted intentionally, maybe because it does not relate to what the, the part of the quote the author want to take. Meanwhile, if you see four dots, it represents a whole sentence or more has been omitted. Then we talked about seek too. Seek is used by a writer to notify the reader that this particular paragraph or sentence or quote you are reading is not my own and there is an error inside the quote and that error is not my own too, it's the original author's error. So after the error word, you open bracket, write S-I-C, seek and close it. That indicates that there is an error which is not the author's own but the author cannot edit the error so the seek is used to notify you of that so these were the two research principles research terms that we discussed last uh, in the last part now in this part we are going to talk about citation now if you have not watched the ellipses and seek part please uh, within this channel just go to the previous video that is the part three while this is the part four now we are going to talk about citation. What is citation? Citation simply means referring or alluding to somebody's work you use. In research, we don't steal people's work. But when we take from another person's work, we credit them that this work, this paragraph or sentence is not mine, but belongs to this person. Now, when you are citing an author, there are several rules to the citation. The first Thing we are going to talk about is if you want to cite the author before the test of course you know you have been hearing things like according to michael 2018 right uh -huh. that one is a strong citation you are you are that one is called a strong quotation you are bringing the author's name before what the author said so that's where we are now now citation before a quotation when you are citing an author before a quotation, which is a strong quotation, only the year is bracketed. The surname is placed outside the brackets. Okay, let's go to the example. Look at the example there. Let's start to read from here. Let me highlight. Let's start to read the sentence. Usman 2018 maintained that research practice in the Niger Delta University has improved over time. I hope you can see how Usman 2018 is introduced. The Usman is outside the brackets. Only the 2018 is inside the brackets. This is how you use a citation when you are bringing the author before the quoted test. Uh, now I think, okay, let me also state something here. Sorry for that uh, interruption. Uh, sorry for that interruption. It's loading. Okay. We are back. Okay, we are back. Now, look at how Usman was introduced here. Look at how Usman was introduced here. Now, this cite, this one is this, the citation we are talking about. The citation, this is the citation class. This is the, this Usman 2018 is the citation we are talking about. And how it appears in various parts of your work is what we are discussing. Now, note that there is no comma after Usman. If the the, or the citation, the author is to come at this side of the work, then there will be a, a comma before the year. Let's go further and see what we are talking about. Now, citation after the quotation. Now, you want to talk, you want to write what Usman said before you bring Usman's name. The rule will not change when you intend to bring the citation after the quote, which is the weak quotation. I did not really say this, but let me say it now. There are two types of, two forms of quotation. Strong quotation, where the author come before what the author said, 
and weak quotation where you said uh, where you wrote everything the author said before you brought before you introduce the before you introduce the citation the author now this time both the surname and the year are bracketed in a comma look at usman year 2018 year there is no bracket before usman now when you want to introduce the, the statement before usman you will now bracket both usman and 2018 together and there will be a comma you see now you say uh, research practice in the niger delta university has improved over time now usman 2018 you cannot see that this bracket here eh, it covers the author and there is a comma before the 2018 which is different from what we had here look at what we had here i hope you can see the difference this is just the simple and basic difference when you are citing an author at various parts of the quotation please take note of that if you don't understand please take the video back and play it step by step you will get the point i think it's very easy and clear enough or you can send a dm to the author uh, to, to to me i will clarify you personally now citation of three or four authors three four and five authors and the use of a tab now what we just had is uh, Usman 2018. What if you want to cite three authors, four, five authors and above? How are you going to do it? Now, when citing a material with three authors and above, the first time the citation appears, now you are writing material. There is a particular author you use play at various times. Maybe you use the author's work, like the author's name appears like, like say, ten times in your work. Now, when the work appears the first time, you are going to outline all the names of the authors. Now, when the author's name appears a second time, you are going to outline only the first author. Then you put ET, space, AL, ETAL. That ETAL means and others. Now, then you put the year. Then when the name appears the third time, you are not going to put all the that etal and the year again. You are just going to put sorry, you are not going to put the year again, but you are putting just the first author and etal. Let's go to an example so that we explain better what I meant. Now, uh, example one. This is the first time this name is appearing in your work. Look at it, Michael comma. Please, all these comma you are seeing they are important. If you don't put them. They will use barrel to correct your project for you. So ensure you put them. Michael Usman Osemene Zenetubo Anuosu 2018. This is the first time the name appears. Then you quote, you, you, then after you now you, you quote what Michael Usman, whatever they said. Now let's go to example two. Now this is the second time the name is appearing. There is no need for you to come and quote. Uh, Michael Usman Osemene Zenotubo Anusu again. You just say Michael Etal 2018. This Etal means Michael and others, which are Usman Osemene Zenotubo Anusu. If this is the first time your the name is appearing, don't use Etal. You can only use Etal at this from the second instance. Now, what if the name appeared a third time? The third time you will not be putting the year again. You just put Michael Etal. Who was of the opinion that you see so please take note now let's go to citation of six authors and above when you are citing six authors and above in the body of your work cite only the first author's name and a tar <clears throat> now look at the example example michael usman osemene zenotubo nuosu ebiwene and isaiah you can see it one two three four five six seven seven authors now this is how you are going to cite it whether it is you know when it was two when it was three four five authors we said the first time list all of them but as from the second time you are going to list only the first author but if there are six and above even if it is the first time cite it as michael etal 2018 because they are too long don't worry about the other name in your reference list all the name will appear there then in the reference reference list all surname and their respective first name and initials all of them will appear now look at how you 
you recorded it in your in the body of your work michael etta 2018 now look at your reference list it will not be michael j o usman e o uh, osemene s zenonjubo p nusu o ebiwene e and isaiah i 2018 this is the difference between how you cite authors at various points when you are in the research, you will understand all these things more as time goes on. Now, let's go to the use of ampersand. Use of ampersand. This class, we want it to be very short, as short as possible. Now, ampersand refers to the and. Yeah, look at the ampersand symbol here. That and that looks like that, that is almost as similar as a dollar sign. This is what we call it ampersand. If you have not known it before, you've known it now. We are trying to compare and as ampersand and and as a n d. Now in research, and and the ampersand, the a n d and the ampersand are used when citing multiple authors. For example, Michael and Usman, 2018. However, the rules will change when the citation comes after the quotation, and it is inserted in parentheses. Take a look at the following. Now we are trying to look at ampersand, which is and, as a symbol and a n d. How you can use them in your citation. According to Michael and Usman, look at the first example. According to Michael and Usman, 2018, research practice in Niger Delta University has been largely improved upon. Now you can see that Michael and Usman, I use a n d because the citation came before the quote, right? Now look at the quote, the, how it will look like after the quote. Note, note, the citation is outside a bracket and as such, the ampersand, which is this and, was not used. Look at the and here, it was not used. Check the next example, example two. Research practice, this quotation, this citation is coming after the test. Research practice in Niger Delta University has been largely improved upon. Michael and Usman, 2018. You now see that the quotation that comes, the citation that comes after the quotation will be inside parentheses. Parentheses is the bracket you call. And the ampersand is used. You see now, ampersand is here. Now, we do not use, uh, what, is it, what is it called? We are not using a N D here again. This is the rule in research. Please take note. On no occasion should you put A N D. Look at where I'm touching in your screen. On no, on no instance should you use A N D when the, the the authors are inside a bracket like this, which is citation after test. All right, let's move ahead a little. Uh, this thing is hanging. Why is this thing hanging? Okay. <clears throat> Let me adjust my phone and see if it will cooperate. Okay. All right. All right. We are almost there. All right. Uh, let's let's conclude this class here because uh, the phone is now having uh, issues. We we conclude this class here and in the part five. In the part five, we'll continue with uh, we'll continue with the, the the citation and the ampersand. We'll start practically with the ampersand. This is even more important as the uh, the the video has already exceeded ten minutes. We want all our videos to be the, as short as possible, and that is even ten minutes because uh, the shorter the video, the more interesting it is for people to watch because people have a lot of responsibilities now. And they don't have time spending in just one thing so thank you for watching please subscribe to the uh, channel so that you can be getting updates on the uh, new videos that are posted thank you and god bless